Hey guys, welcome to the show. Got a few things to tell you before we get started on this delicious recipe. Want to talk about the thing that's on my, my hand right now? It's called the Sabo Stretch. And what it's doing is, if you remember when I had my stroke, my fingers want to curl up and all that. A lot of stroke victims, their hand wants to curl up, their tendons get tight. Well, this is straightening out my hand, straightening my fingers, causing my hand to stay stretched. I wear this like hours a day and uh, it's kind of like an exercise. Uh, keeps it in a stretched formation so that it, nat it becomes natural that my hands open again. So that's one of the first steps. I have another glove coming that's gonna put electricity through my hand and work my hand as I need it. It's crazy, there's a lot of great things. This company is called Sabo. This is called the Sabo Stretch. And it's holding all my fingers in place and uh, you know I wear it every single day. So I'll be giving you guys updates on this. Um, if you've already, you probably have already seen it on my electronic show, uh, Take Time with Jack. Uh, I talk about the glove. I want to thank everybody at Sabo because they've been nothing but loving, kind people. They know what they're talking about. It's not like they're like, well, we're just, just put this glove on. And I'm like, no, they explain what it's doing. They explain to me everything. I love these guys. They're great. And I want to thank James who turned me on to Sabo. It's one of, um, one of the, uh, one of my friends, personal, personal friends. He's a good friend of mine. He brought it up. Uh, he sent me a link to them. So we've been working together, Sabo and me, or Sabo and I, sorry. And um, and it is working. I can feel uh, a more of a looseness to my hand again. So as I go through this, uh, you're going to see the Sabo uh, Glove Pro, or the Sabo uh, pro glove, however you name that, I'll, I'll know when it arrives. I'll know what it's called. Um, that's the one with the electricity. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. I'll keep giving you updates. Uh, everything's going great. I've been dropping weight. I've been working on my hand. Everything's moving in the right direction. Trying to eat healthy, do healthy recipes. Uh, it's January. It's the month to do all that, right? So come on in close. I'll show you all the ingredients. Uh, I'm going to take this, uh, Sable stretch off. For now, while I'm filming, I'm going to get on my, my show shirt. I'm going to get all ready and get ready to do the show. Don't forget the recipes down below underneath this video in the description box. The only change I made, I'll have the original recipe down below, but this is the change that I'm making. I'm using a Swerve sweetener instead of the brown sugar. I'm going to measure it out the same exact way, okay? And we've got our beef, got our ginger, got our bell peppers, red and green. I've got sriracha, got soy sauce, I got sesame oil or sesame seed oil, I got garlic, and there's gonna be a dash of cornstarch in this, but everything's gonna be delicious. The picture looks amazing, I can't wait to make this. So most of the ingredients are going in the sauce, all right? You got your bell peppers and your steak off to the side, we'll saute those in a minute. But let's start with soy sauce. Oh. Okay, then we got our ginger. Get our ginger in there. Uh, you can use ground ginger. We use grated fresh ginger because it's so much better. Get it all in there. Ginger is really good for you. Garlic is also good for you. So we're doing garlic. We're gonna put some sesame seed oil in. There we go. Got that. Oh, I love this stuff. We're gonna put our, instead of brown sugar, we're using our own sweetener, but you can put brown sugar if you're good with brown sugar. If not, your own sweetener. Last thing we're doing is some cornstarch. There we go. All right, give that a mix. Basically, once you don't feel your sweetener, once it's all dissolved, you're good to go. Nothing makes it smell better than the sesame seed oil. There we go. Beautiful. You got sriracha. That's preference. If you don't like spicy, don't put any sriracha in there. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, honey.
My wife just got done washing the, the whisk that I was just using. She's so efficient that I'm not fast enough. I'm just not. Mix that sriracha in there for a little bit of heat. This smells amazing. As always, put a little olive oil on the pan. Get yourself a nice flame. Got a flame? Yep. Always check to see you got a flame. So your kitchen will fill up with uh, natural gas and then a spark just takes your house out. It's always safe to check for the flame. All right, heat that oil up. So to test your pan, just like a piece of meat, just drop a piece of vegetable in. When that starts sizzling, that's when you can throw the rest of them in there. As you can see in here, it's bubbling and it's sizzling, so that means we can throw the rest of our red and green. It's like Christmas. We're going to cook these till they're soft. Soften them up. Got all the bell peppers. They're all soft and beautiful. We're now going to do our steak. We thinly slice the steak. Once that starts sizzling, we'll put the rest in. And there you go. It's sizzling. It's ready to go. Go ahead and set all your other ones in. Take your time. Okay, so you're going to cook this up. You may want to throw a little salt and pepper on there. I'm going to do that right now. Do a little pepper. A little more pepper. A little bit of salt. Okay, once you got it all brown, you want to sear both sides. This is the flank steak. Go ahead and put your peppers back in. And then take the mixture that you put together, pour that right in. Probably going to need a nice mix here. Okay, you're going to simmer this for about, does this fit? No, this is the wrong size. You're going to simmer this for about about three to five minutes. Simmer means put it on low, let it still stay heated, let the flavors marinate into the meat and the peppers, give it a mix around. There you go. That looks amazing. That smells amazing. That was so easy. I got myself a little bit of cauliflower rice here. That also smells good. We're just gonna take a bit of it and Put it on top of the cauliflower rice because we're I want to save most of this for for everybody else. Just want enough to taste. There we go. This looks great. You guys ready? Definitely gonna go for that meat right now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. No pepper. Mmm. I gotta tell you guys. That sauce makes the whole dish. That is amazing. Give it a try. Recipes down below. Super simple. And don't forget to check out the uh, Sabo company that's doing the glove and the stretch for my hand. In case you know somebody in your family that has a condition like a stroke recovery patient. Um, it'll help them too, all right? So anyway, enjoy the dish, all right? I got more coming your way. Love you. Bye-bye.